everybody. Now, uh, since we were here from uh, the time of the workshop and uh, up to when the conference started, we had a panel of discussions and uh, there was a gloomy picture which was uh, shared about the position of uh, mathematics uh, in Kenya. But then, what I want to bring to you now is uh, something which is not exactly what we had uh, during the discussion, but then I just want to bring to you the word of hope. The word of hope is that there are uh, positive initiatives which are being done to make sure that uh, mathematics uh, is done well and uh, whatever we talk of is being improved on in uh, Kenya. Now, the initiatives in uh, mathematics and statistics, these are initiatives uh, related to the improvement of uh, mathematics research and application in uh, Kenya. Now, we had uh, right at the start, some 10 years ago, that is at the inception of uh, MagNet, we realized that mathematics was not being done well in Kenya, that is in the high schools, and that uh, brought the birth of uh, what we call uh, MagNet. So quite a number of us were involved from the universities and uh, also from the high schools. Now, when we did that, we followed that immediately with the maths conference in Kenya to chart out the way forward. One, we noticed that uh, most universities were not well equipped with their libraries and uh, even the personnel was lacking because at the beginning, like uh, Professor Weke said, teaching was done well. At that time, there was only one university, and uh, we had uh, what we call the A levels. So those who went to the universities were only the selected few. Now, since then, the number has uh, really increased. The institutions have also increased, which means that we have uh, been able to teach these people, but then the personnel that was teaching people before has uh, really been dwindling because with the mushrooming of uh, a number of universities, sometimes we got people without uh, needed experience. A number of people who could supervise uh, masters, that was graduate students, in um, fewer or in applied or even in statistics, then our thinking at that time was that if we had such a case, then we could share all these students so that no university would be lacking personnel just because they were being started. But since we did that, after the first conference, things uh, did not work the way we had planned, maybe because the number of universities that came in, came in too many more than our anticipation, and uh, as we are now, we are also still struggling, but then I want to say that all is uh, actually not lost. Now, we have also had a number of uh, university personnel interacting with the uh, secondary schools. I want to mention here our late uh, colleague, Cecilia, who had uh, a lot of work with the high school in trying to improve mathematics teaching in uh, mostly in the girls' schools. But we also have people who have also, in their own right, have had a lot of experience in dealing with the uh, improvement of uh, mathematics in the secondary schools. I know Professor Goji has done quite a lot. Professor Nyango Tien has done quite a lot. And uh, I've also been involved in what we call, I call popularization of mathematics in uh, secondary schools, that is for the last 
80 years or so. Now, when doing popularization of mathematics, we are not actually showing students of high school how to do maths, but we want to just let them know that it is possible to do mathematics and uh, to do it in uh, the right way. And that is why I have a title here involving universities in secondary schools. We also have a lot of maths contests. We have a Seno maths contest, Mango maths contest, there's one in Bunyore, and uh, right now there are quite a number. And in all these maths contests, in each one of them, you find at least a mathematician from one of our public universities participating. And that is what gives me hope that after some time, we are going to see a lot of uh, improvement. Previously in Kenya, what was taught in universities, and uh, at that time it was only one university, was uh, mathematical statistics. And uh, with the vision of Professor Diambo, he spent, uh, we called him in Maseno, he spent three months developing a mathematics curriculum, which was then called Applied Statistics. Now, this Applied Statistics program succeeded because according to those we have talked to, he put into it what we called the attachment, uh, you know, Portion, that is, after some time, the students we taught were attached for at least one semester within an industry or uh, places of future employment. And I want to say here that there was a year or three years ago that uh, out of uh, 53 students from Masino University, 42 of them were employed in the Ministry of Planning. And according to us, that was uh, a very big plus because this came out of what they had seen them do during the research. And also, in trying to improve the curriculum, we always talk to the future employees, the employers, and the industry, and they told us that, okay, your students are good, they have learned this, but if you had included this in the curriculum, then we would be more comfort comfortable with them. And uh, at that time, the chair of the department was Professor Gonja. We always came back to do some analysis, and we always included what was uh, advised by the employers, and uh, this has helped us a lot to improve that curriculum of uh, applied statistics. And uh, it is not surprising that now, in almost every university that we have here, we have the close taking statistics. The statistics is now being called the Applied Statistics course, and all of them have included this uh, attachment, which we found to be quite uh, useful. Now, in that, after thanking Professor Diambo, we had Roger Stan from uh, Reading University. He also helped us quite a lot because. He visited us and he was, he was doing a lot of work in uh, climate. And with uh, one of us, the late Eli Bodo, who was a member of staff of the Senior University, who passed on two months ago, we embraced the idea of uh, the applied statistics. And uh, he has also really been constantly advising us. And uh, the improvement in the syllabus has been because of uh, what we got from him. Now, reaching more people through e-learning, we know that the number of students sitting for their form four is swelling, and we don't have enough universities to absorb them. So, we started uh, in Maseno, what we call uh, the e-learning section. And uh, because we were not well equipped, we used the platform of uh, Reading University, and uh, also thanks to Roger Stan and the rest of the people. And uh, this has also helped us. I want to say that the first course that we mounted was, uh, it's called e 
SMS. And this is not the SMS we send through our phones. That is the electronic statistics made simple. That is what the SMS stands for. And this is a course that we defined for those who had a phobia for statistics because we realized that there were people who were scared of uh, statistics and uh, just because they did not know what they were scared of. And uh, this course here went on very well with uh, the assistance of Reading University and we already graduated the first batch of students and now the second batch is coming in from uh, September. Now, we also noticed that there is a problem in the area of uh, research methods. We have developed a, a curriculum in research methods, which has already been approved by our Senate, and uh, will be mounted, I want to say next month, but then I want to say in the next four days, because I mean, the next two weeks, because next month is coming within the next uh, two weeks. And uh, this program also will have an E component so that they don't all have to come to the university to pursue the course. And uh, on that note, I want to say that we have also many other programs that will be using E learning together with this uh, postgraduate. Uh, Cool.